Hello everyone, welcome to another set of games for Rario and here we're going to see two important games being played out, New Zealand, Ireland and Afghanistan, Australia, both teams hinging on these games for their qualification. So let's see what packs, what rewards, everything that's going to be in store for you tomorrow and we have Nikhil Bhai with us to carry you through this preview. Yes, thanks as always for having me. Getting better at Rario, thanks to Arshdeep Singh. So, this is the logic that we have talked about a lot of times. Pick your matches. I don't play all the matches because I have missed some cards. But wherever I know that I have extra cards from the CPL, South Africa, India matches, so I have enough cards. So, I have enough cards for them. Because I have options, I have enough cards for them. So, 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 you also please make sure you have the right kind of strategy in place. Because you will play random here, you will probably realize that you have not got anything. तो इट इज बेटर कि आप थोड़ा टाइम ले सोचे समझे अपनी मैचेस पिक करें ओपन एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग है वीक है क्या कॉम्बिनेशन जाना चाहिए फिर टीम बनाओ इट इज बेटर टू यू विल बी इन अ बेटर रैंक Right, absolutely. Pick your matches, also pick your league. So we understand everyone yes. will not have black and gold cards for every game. But one uh, recommendation from me to you would be that don't miss the bronze contest in any game because yeah. they have the biggest reward pools there for the cheapest yeah. cards. So just ensure you don't miss the bronze and silver contest. Rest depends on whatever cards and squad you're building because obviously we understand yeah. that with the stronger teams, you want to build, build those black and gold cards and maybe with the weaker yeah. teams, you might have more bronze and silver so build that strategy and select yeah. your contest for every game accordingly and now when we look at what we have in store for tomorrow's game so you can see new zealand and ireland packs are already live on the website and at 9 pm there will be all four types of packs for australia and afghanistan so make some smart choices there at 9 pm all the packs will be live all four different types of packs for both these teams afghanistan might be playing their last game and it depends on whether you feel like Afghanistan is going to progress in terms of uh, the players that are going to be playing in leagues ahead. So select your pack smartly and from Australia obviously the BBL is coming, some big games are going to come up for them. So their black cards will be of use to you everywhere practically. Absolutely, uh, that is a very smart way to come. You are in value for a long term benefit. So pick hmm. your uh, cards accordingly in terms of whoever you get, discard them after much thought. Ke socho samaj ke fir unke unko sell karna, kyunki hmm. ye sab live market hai in terms of kiska form hai nahi hai. Par kaun sa player kis team ke khilaf zyada khelne wala hai kya hai? Wo sab dekhne ke baad aap agar player ko chode, to better hai. Aur baaki the New Zealand ke mene baat kari, India games aayenge aur Australia ke liye BBL games aayenge. To aapke pas cards rehenge, to you will be able to play those games better. Yes, and keep in mind Rashid will also be there in the BBL. So if you feel like it's your lucky day today and you're going to pick out a Rashid black card from the pack, then 100% go for the Afghanistan black pack too because that card is invaluable. Even if you get him in $150 from that pack, yeah. you're, you're going to be able to sell him for more than double in the market. So just be smart and think of the right kind of packs and cards that you want to buy. So that is about the packs. In case you're new to the concept, you can sign up from the link in the description. You'll get $20 immediately, which will waiver your packs by 50% of the cost. If you're buying for $40, you get your packs for $20. And if you don't know much about the concept, I'm attaching some links in the description of explainers and ways of how you can get around. Now let's look at what rewards are in store for you tomorrow. Yep. This is the Australia Afghanistan and New Zealand Ireland games. So, New Zealand Ireland is a now. Sorry, I'm going to ask you to ask me. Maybe there's a mic that I lose. Okay, yes, pretty clear. So I was saying that about 4,300 teams have joined in this New Zealand Island game. And like you can see, there are rewards up till like practically the 4,000 ranks. So there are rewards all the way till down. And when you go towards the black contest here, 144 teams have joined. And there are rewards up till the 170th rank. So practically there are rewards to be won just for participating. So keep that in mind and get the correct cards accordingly. 
बिल्कुल हमने पहले पे डिस्कस करा है कि देखो आप इसके लिए मैं कहता हूँ अपने गेम्स सही से चूज करो ऐसे गेम्स खेल रहे हो जहाँ पे ज़्यादा लोग नहीं खेल रहे तो आपको गारंटेड रिवॉर्ड्स है तो आपको गेम में खेलने का पैसा गेम से मिल जाएगा एटलीस्ट आपके ब्राउन पैक्स और सिल्वर पैक्स तो निकल ही जाएंगे कुछ नहीं और जिस दिन अच्छा चला क्या पता चार पाँच ब्लैक फ्लैक्स के पैसे भी आपको यहीं से मिल जाए Yes, absolutely. And one key thing that I want to call out in the New Zealand Island game is currently only 292 teams joined, but there are rewards up till the 600th rank. So if you don't have a New Zealand or Island set of gold cards, I think this is the contest for you to watch out for the gold contest. And because maybe you're expecting a one-sided game, maybe not, you'll be able to load up more cards of New Zealand because you're going to expect them to perform in both departments. Here you can see I've taken a Paul Sterling gold card because. He's played for me in the CPL before, so I have some XP advantage there. So be smart about the cards that you're going to put in the game. Now let's see the Australia-Afghanistan set. And बिल्कुल हम हर बार XP पे जोर इसके लिए दे रहे हैं क्योंकि ऐसा नहीं है Windows बहुत पसंद है. But the point is, the more you play with these cards, this is your differentiator with others. अगर कोई बंदा नया कार्ड लेके आ रहा है, पर आपके पास एक ऐसा कार्ड है जो पहले से in use है. तो उसके एक्स की ज्यादा है तो आपको पॉइंट ज्यादा मिलेंगे यू विल स्टैंड अ बेटर चांस ऑफ विनिंग अ बेटर रिजल्ट सो दैट इज द पॉइंट कि आप अगर कार्ड है तो पार्टिसिपेट किए बिना ना छोड़े दो कार्ड दो भी अगर कार्ड हो आपके पास इन टर्म्स ऑफ अब पता है तीसरा तरह नहीं खेलेगा तो भी डालो उसको एटलीस्ट उसके एक्स पी बढ़ेगा सो अगर दैट इज द वर्स्ट किस ने आगे तो ट्राई एंड एनश्योर दैट यू पार्टिसिपेट इन एज मेनी कॉन्टेस्ट एज यू कैन आपके एक्स पी तो बढ़ेगी इट विल ऑलवेज बी यूजफुल टू यू द लॉन्ग Right, absolutely. And the contest that I want you to watch out for in the Australia-Afghanistan game, you can see here once the rewards up to the two forty-sixth rank, and the last reward is fifty dollars. So it's not a small reward there. So try and get one of those Afghanistan-Australia black packs. I'd say try to get the Australian ones because all those pacers are going to work in and out for you. so they'll be really useful and if you get david warner then it's just icing on the cake because he's going to play all the important leagues around the world so i think that will be the pack and the contest for me to watch out for in this specific game like you can see even i'm waiting because i sold my australian players back into the market plays at a profit but now it's time to get one pack back you are on mute sir yes that is what as i said you know you have to be smart kaun sa player ko kab lena hai kab bechna hai आप खेलोगे तो और सीखोगे यू गेट बेटर एट गेटिंग द टाइमिंग राइट बट यू विल नेवर लर्न इट टू ट्राई तो ये नहीं कह रहा हूँ डायरेक्ट आप ब्लैक पैक्स ब्लैक पैक से ट्राई करो यू कैन ट्राई फ्रॉम ब्रॉन्स सी हाउ द प्लेटफॉर्म वर्क्स फॉर यू द लिंक इज देयर यू गेट फ्री ट्वेंटी डॉलर्स ऑन रजिस्ट्रेशन हाफ ऑफ इट यू कैन बाय अर पैक्स टू फिफ्टी परसेंट तो यू जिस हैव टू स्पेंड हाफ ऑफ योर इन्वेस्टमेंट देर तो एंड इफ यू आर गेटिंग गारंटेड रिवॉर्ड्स यू आर गुड टू रिकवर दैट एनी विच वेज तो थोड़ा सोचो स्पेंड सम टाइम and if it clicks for you it is it already has for a lot of folks who have made much more than their investment so go hmm. long term strategy bana it will work out yes absolutely and before we end this specific preview just to share one thing about how i strategize in terms of my black card so that you guys have an idea of what i'm talking about in terms of buying reselling what is the thought process that i'm approaching So, like you can see here, I sold. This is my Mitchell Marsh black card, which I sold for two fifty five, and Pat Cummins for two hundred eight. Now, thought process behind selling them after a good performance. One is I got these out of two fifty dollar packs, which in which I also used some radio bonus. So it was practically about two hundred ten dollars on an average for each of these packs. Now, what did I do? I managed to win some out of these specific contests. So I won about forty dollars. from each of the black contests that i participated in in about two games then i sold them back into the market because i was not sure about pat coming and if he'll play again or not now that he's playing again it gives me the confidence to get a black pack back out again and for mitchell marsh he's bowling again so yes it is about timing it i felt like he's going to start bowling soon as soon as i saw that news i upsold him at the price there but now i feel like I if I if I have to go and buy a pack tomorrow and if I get even either of these two cards I'm very happy to do that because I'm going to get one amazing gold card plus that so I'm not getting only this card alone and then again I can use these back towards the season to the BBL and hopefully Australia also qualify tomorrow and watch out for a big attacking win tomorrow too. Yep. 
so thank you so much to everyone who tuned in we hope that the session was helpful for you do look at the contest and decide which contest you would like to play we hope that all of you have a great set of games all the good luck to you yes see you soon